Well, I presume the uh, Red Wings know the way to San Jose because they have to get back there yesterday. They forced a deciding Game 7 in the Western Conference semifinals. 3-1 to one win over the Sharks last night. Joe Louis Arena, Heinrich Zetterberg, Valtelli Fippola. That's an easy one to say, too. Move that bus. And Darren Helm all scored in the third period for Detroit. Red Wings uh, now going to be, if they can do it, only the fourth team in NHL history to come back from a 3-0 deficit and win a playoff series. Game 7 tomorrow night in San Jose. And Rich Kincaid, uh, after the victory yesterday in downtown Detroit, talked to Jimmy Howard at his locker, and here's what he said. Jim, it would have been uh, easy to feel snake bit there when they did finally score. It was a goal by the narrowest of margins. You'd outshot him by a two on margin in the game, and yet you trailed. Uh, how'd, you, how'd you keep your heart up? Uh, just never quit. Uh, I mean, you just you keep playing. Uh, you know, that's the, the beauty of uh, this game is that, uh, you know, it's never over until the final buzzer. So you just, no matter what the score is, you keep, you keep going. Now imagine being the San Jose Sharks. You've got the Red Wings up three games to one. All you have to do is knock it in one more time. And one of those games went to overtime, too. So Rich Kincaid went across the hall at Joe Louis Arena and talked to Todd McClellan, the coach of the San Jose Sharks, on his mood yesterday after all of a sudden realizing it's going to be a one-game showdown. Well, the performance tonight was, was disappointing. I thought one team skated. Uh, the other team did not skate at all. And that was pretty evident right through the, the first two periods. We started to find some legs in the third. Uh, we were fortunate our goaltender even gave us a chance to be remotely involved in the game in the third period. So uh, from that perspective, it's disappointing. Thrilling stuff. And the winner of that uh, final game, Game 7, is going to go on. And uh, what if what they have the Vancouver Canucks, I think, in the next round. Next hour, Governor Snyder is going to visit Hudsonville Ice Cream today. We'll talk to the Director of Sales and Marketing there. Congressman Mike Rogers will be thus with us. And can blood tests be used now in drunk driving cases? Peter Secchia will join us, too, the former ambassador to Italy. Senate uh, Democratic leader Gretchen Whitmer will be here. Pretty interesting program. We'll top it all off with Pastor Terry Jones, who's coming back to Michigan to take on the Muslims. It's Michael Patrick Shields on Wednesday morning. <laughs>